You know what my favorite things in the world are? I have to say, cakes, cookies, sweet things. Um, I love them. They don't love me that much, but I love them. And my favorite ones that I really like, whoopie pies. The Amish things, man. These are the most amazing thing. They're cake cookies with a cream filling. So I'm gonna do something, my own version of whoopie pies. Thinking outside the box, <laughs> how typical. What's wrong with that? Leave him alone. You, you can do what you want. It's your hallucination. What's wrong with being traditional? There's nothing wrong with traditional. It's just like, I like to think outside the box. Yeah, yeah we know. So if he's doing traditional, what are you going to be doing? Uh, I haven't really given it much thought. I'm thinking, um, I don't know, something different. Oh, how typical. Oh, lame. What? Me? I'm a filmmaker, martial artist, writer, husband, father, and friend. But that's not all. I have a passion for food. Not just eating it, cooking it. It's a lifelong passion, where I learned it from my mom and my grandmoms, great cooks. I'm not a professional, but I love copying great chefs, mimic their techniques and recipes to feed my family and friends. So for the next half hour or so, sit back and enjoy and let me do the cooking on Bald Guy in the Kitchen. So, this latest episode of Bald Guy in the Kitchen is all about my two sides of my psyche. And how are their whoopie pies going to be different? One side, the traditional, or the other side, the more unconventional? We are, each of us, a duality governed by the balance of light and darkness. Within each of us is the capacity for both good and evil. What does this mean for the show? Why am I asking you? The Whoopie Pie, also known as Gobs, Bobs, Black and Whites, Big Fat Oreos, and sometimes Moon Pies. Whoopie Pies are a sweet treat made from moist, cookie-shaped cakes sandwiched around a creamy filling. The classic Whoopie Pie flavor combination features chocolate cake with a vanilla-flavored frosting, but many other flavor combinations abound. No one is entirely sure where Whoopie Pies originated. Some say Amish wives invented the Whoopie Pie from remnants of cake batter and frosting. According to the story, the name originated from the Amish men who, when they found these treats in their lunchboxes, would exclaim, Whoopee! In this in corner, corner weighing in at... I don't know. Don't tell him I wait. Okay. In this, in this corner, corner, no weight no given, given, is, is the bald, bald guy in the kitchen, kitchen the, outside the outside of the box, of the box aspect. aspect. And in and this, this corner, corner weighing, weighing in at... Yeah, yeah, you can tell him I wait. 157. Weighing, weighing in at 157. 157. Ball, ball guy in the kitchen. The kitchen. Inside, inside the box, the box aspect. aspect. Uh, I prefer traditional. The traditional and non-traditional, and non-traditional ball, ball guy in the, guy in the kitchen. kitchen is going head-to-head head head in this knockdown, knock drag-out, drag whoopie pie, pie battle to the end. end. Let's, Let's get, get ready, ready to cook. cook. I'm gonna get you, ball guy. You going down, ball guy. If you don't mind, I'm going first. Be my guest. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in all the liquid stuff, and that will be the vanilla, milk, and eggs. And because this is a traditional, and oh, and also the butter. Never forget the butter. The butter makes it all better, does it now? Yeah, you betcha. Yeah, that's right. And then, Sugar, this is flour, baking soda, and baking powder. And last but not least, the cocoa. And we're gonna mix all this up together into one little thing, one big thing, look at this bowl. And why are you not working? Here we go. One thing I do love is that smell of chocolate and butter together. Mmm. That looks good. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
chocolate butter and eggs. Best combination ever. Mm -hmm. No offense. None mm. taken. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm, yes, it does. Mind if I take this? All right, we got this here ice cream scooper. Make a few of these. These are gonna be huge. The way I like it. Big, huge, whoopie pies. These are gonna be very big. And when I say big, I mean big. All right, one more. Uh, no more, we're good. All right, those are set. And so now it's up to you. Well, my, my stuff is gonna be basically the same ingredients. We got, wait, let's do the liquid first. We got the, oops, milk, eggs, vanilla, sugar, and the flour. And our added change in our ingredient is powdered freeze-dried strawberries. Strawberries. Who knew? Yeah. It's gonna be good. All right, so here we go. This also smells really amazing. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Mm. What does that taste like? Let's taste this. Mm. Oh wow. Mm -mm -mm. What could be bad? Mm. Oh, it's for me. Who cares? I don't work in no restaurant. I'm good. Mm. Try to add less drool to your stuff, mm. okay? That is pretty tasty. It's a tasty burger. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. That's a good strawberry. Mm -mm. All right. So on to this guy we go. We'll do basically same as you. Oh, that's a big one. That's gonna be a glob of cookie. Look at that. In the words of Mick Jagger, too much is never enough. Wow, I hope they don't all run into each other. They probably will. Oh well. All right, oven is almost ready. So we'll throw it in. It has to be at 350. I'm just gonna cook for like 20 minutes or so. So, do you mind if I do this? Yeah, be my guest. All right. All right, so 20 minutes and we should be uh, pretty good to go, I think. All right, well that's done. Beeping, they should be ready. Gonna take them out, let them cool. You mind if I do that? Good. Oh, they look quite good. They got big. Oh, those do look good. Mmm, they smell good too. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Well, while these are cooking, let's go make the, uh, the filling, shall we? Okay, well, sugar, butter, and milk with a little bit of vanilla extract in there. And here we go. Put this all together. All right, well, this is, this is turning out nice. Look at this. Very nice. Check it out. Cool. All right. Your turn, cowboy. yippee ki yay muffa. All right, well, basically, I'm doing the same thing as he's doing, what he did for his filling, uh, except I'm doing something a little different. I'm adding strawberry liqueur to this thing. Oh, strawberry. Yeah. All right. Looks good to me. So in this goes powdered sugar, milk with extract, a little bit of butter, and then liqueur. And all we do is turn on and start mixing. Yeah, this looks really good. Mm-mm-mm. All right, I think we're ready to go. 
Throw this over here. All right, well, I think that this stuff here has had an ample time to cool. What do you think? Sure, all right, good. I'm making, putting this stuff on. Just gonna pile it in. Wait, I wanna taste it first. Don't spoil your appetite. Mm-hmm. That's good. Yes. Very, very good. What could mm -hmm. be bad? Mm. Get a knife. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Looks good. Smells good. Nice and springy like a cake. That looks pretty mm. damn good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm having a taste. Let's really try good. the strawberry, mm. shall we? Mm -mm -mm. A little bit runnier than the yours is, but mm. it smells amazing. It smells good from here, man. Yes, it does. All right. And then we'll put it in and make it a sandwich. Plop. Cut it in half. Oh, it's sliding all over the place. Danger, danger. All right. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Yep. I deem you delicious. Yes. Mm. I want to take some of his. Mm hmm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's good. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, yeah, it looks good. I'm yeah. having a taste. I too. think these are winner. Winner, mm. winner, chicken right dinner, here. my friends. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. All right. Two winners right here, man. I love it. Good job. Thank you. Well, in the words of Click and Clack, you squandered another half hour watching me. But thank you. I'm glad you guys did. That was fun. A little hard for me to do two of me. It's hard for me to do one of me as opposed to two of me. But that was fun. It was interesting. I may do that again. We'll see. I don't know. But thank you for watching. Grateful that you guys are here. And uh, in the words of the great car maker and known anti-Semite, Henry Ford, if you believe you can or you can't, you're right. So thank you. Have a great week. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a single one. Thank you.